वेलकम टू दी चैप्टर सिमेट्री दिस स्लाइड प्रेजेंट्स दी ओवरव्यू ऑफ दी चैप्टर लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव बाई दी एंड ऑफ दिस चैप्टर यू विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सिमेट्री एंड लाइन सिमेट्री डिस्कस द टाइप्स ऑफ लाइन सिमेट्री आइडेंटिफाई द सिमेट्रिकल शेप्स स्केच द मिसिंग हाफ ऑफ द पिक्चर्स एनालाइज हाफ टर्न सिमेट्री एंड क्वार्टर टर्न सिमेट्री लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ एन इंट्रोडक्शन we see many reflective objects in our daily life mirror is an example of reflective objects because when we stand in front of the mirror it reflects our image similarly in the rainy season we can observe the reflection of the images in the puddles do you know about symmetry in nature and geometrical figures can you draw the lines of symmetry on different objects In this chapter we will learn about symmetry and examine different pictures of what types of symmetry it is having mirror line an object and its image are always at the same distance from the surface of a mirror which is called the mirror line the left and the right sides of an object appear inverted in a mirror an object and its image show mirror symmetry letters written from left to right appear written from right to left in the mirror image the letters a h i m o t u v w x and y appear the same in their mirror image let us perform an activity on mirror line here are some alphabet given click the ones which look the same or different in the mirror here let us know about symmetry first symmetry is found in the world around us it is used by architects engineers designers of cloth and jewelry artists painters car manufacturers and many others a figure is said to have symmetry when it is folded into two halves that match or are identical to each other now we are going to learn in detail about line symmetry the line about which the figure is folded so that the two parts of the figure coincide called line of symmetry For example look at the beautiful butterfly now let us fold it in half see how the two halves match this folded line created by folding the butterfly is called the line of symmetry or the line of reflection when the butterfly is folded at the line of symmetry if the two sides match each other we can say that these sides are congruent and the butterfly is symmetrical the line symmetry is closely related to mirror reflection now let's see the types of line symmetry we find the pictures matching exactly when it is folded horizontally vertically or diagonally so from this we conclude that there are three types of line symmetry they are vertical symmetry horizontal symmetry and diagonal symmetry click each tab to know more vertical symmetry the pictures which when folded vertically such that one part coincides with the other is called vertical line of symmetry let us look at some examples from nature If we put a vertical line from top to bottom of the tulip painting we can see the vertical symmetry See how the line of reflection divides the seashell into two matching halves 
Let us see another example of vertical symmetry from architecture. This is the Capitol building in Madison, Wisconsin. Notice how both the halves match. We can also see the vertical symmetry in a common balance which is used to measure the weight. Even our bodies have vertical symmetry. Look at the images on the screen. Horizontal symmetry. The picture which when folded horizontally such that one part coincides with the other is called horizontal line of symmetry. For example, look at the bow. If we draw a horizontal line, this time we can see the horizontal line of symmetry. Similarly, we see horizontal line symmetry in English alphabet like B, C, D, E, K. And the traffic lights also have a horizontal line of symmetry. Diagonal symmetry. The picture which when folded diagonally such that one part coincides with the other is called diagonal line of symmetry. This rug has line symmetry across a diagonal line. See how the halves always match. And also the image of guitar shown on screen has a diagonal line of symmetry. Now let us see the pictures with no line symmetry. Pictures may or may not have a line of symmetry. For example, observe the geometrical figures shown on the screen. By folding it vertically or horizontally or diagonally, we are not getting the two parts of the picture as same. Drag and drop the appropriate answers into the respective fields provided. Drag and drop the appropriate alphabet into the respective fields provided. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Let us solve a few exercise problems. Click the tab to view solution. Here we are going to make the symmetrical figures. Take a sheet of paper. Fold it into two halves vertically. Take some pieces of strings and dip them in a variety of colored inks. Now spread the strings on one half side of the folded paper. Now press the two halves together as shown and then unfold it. The resulting figure is symmetrical and the line of fold is the line of symmetry. Now let us do an activity on paper cutting pattern. Click each tab to know more. The main objective of this activity is to find the line symmetry by paper cutting patterns. Take a square paper. 
Now fold it in the vertical direction and then in the horizontal direction. Now fold the paper in the shape of a triangle. Now draw your own pattern. Cut along the edges of the pattern. Unfold the paper. Now draw a line which indicates line symmetry. We can observe that the designed paper has lines of symmetry vertically, horizontally and diagonally. Perform an activity on symmetrical figures. Click the dot which is symmetrical to the pink color dot in each image with respect to the symmetrical line. For example, in the first image, while folding it along the line of symmetry, we see that the pink color dot will overlap on this box. So, click on it. Let us do one more activity on symmetrical figures. Drag and drop the missing half of the symmetrical figures below. Symmetry, half a turn or less. Take a paper and draw the number 9 on it. Rotate the paper by the half turn which means 180 degrees in clockwise direction and anti-clockwise direction. From this, we observe that the number 9 looks exactly same as the number 6 when it is half turned in clockwise or in anti-clockwise direction. Note, clockwise direction means moving in the direction of the hands on a clock and the opposite direction is called anti-clockwise or counterclockwise direction. So, finally, we can say that the number 6 is half-turn symmetry of number 9. Look at the following alphabet and digits. Identify which of them have the same shape after half a turn. Symmetry. Turn a quarter. Take a paper and draw a rectangle on it. Rotate the paper by the quarter turn which means 90 degrees in clockwise direction and anti-clockwise direction. From this, we observe that the rectangle shape looks exactly the same when it is rotated in the clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. So finally, we can say that the rectangle shape has quarter turn symmetry. Now, we will see the symmetry of turning into half and quarter. Observe the figures shown below. Here, if the first image is rotated for 90 degrees, we get as shown, but it is not symmetry. Again, if we rotate it further for 90 degrees, that is 180 degrees, we get as shown and it is rotational symmetry. And by rotating it again for 90 degrees, that is 270 degrees, we get the image as shown, which is not rotational symmetry. And at 360 degrees, it is again symmetrical. So this image has rotational symmetry at 180 degrees and 360 degrees. Similarly, observe the image too, when it is rotated for 90, 180, 270, and 360 degrees, it remains the same. It does not change any other way. So, it has a rotational symmetry of a maximum angle of 90 degrees. Now, 
if we observe this figure when it is rotated for 90 degrees we get as shown which is not having rotational symmetry but when it is rotated further for 90 degrees that is 180 degrees we observe that the eyes are placed at the bottom and mouth at the top so it is not having a rotational symmetry again and then at 270 degrees also it is not symmetrical but at 360 degrees the image looks the same as the original one but it doesn't count so the image has no rotational symmetry let us perform an activity on half turn and quarter turn some figures are given below how will they look after half turn and quarter turn click submit to check your answers practice zone try to solve the problems in the practice zone on your own you can click solution tab to view the solutions Summary Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. An object and its image are always the same distance from the surface of a mirror, which is called the mirror line. A figure has symmetry when it can be folded into two halves that match or are identical to each other. The line about which the figure is folded so that the two parts of the figure coincide is called line of symmetry. The picture, which when folded vertically, such that one part coincides the other, is called vertical line of symmetry. The picture, which when folded horizontally, such that one part coincides the other, is called horizontal line of symmetry. The picture, which when folded diagonally, such that one part coincides the other, is called diagonal line of symmetry. Pictures may or may not have a line of symmetry. Follow-up work Draw any five objects which have a line of symmetry. Draw any five objects which do not have line of symmetry. Evaluation Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter Symmetry.